Hi, I'm Ron Ant with HelicopterHandle.com, and we're here to discuss the difference between the, the SEA, or Sea Bottle, from Aqualung, and the HEADS 3 system from Submersible Systems. All right, these are both systems right here. This is your Sea Model with your 20-inch hose. This is your HEADS 3. So we'll go about the HEADS 3 first. HEADS 3 comes in a Molly adaptable pouch. Now this pouch is very simple. It's adaptable for your Molly vest. It's got the draw straps on in the back. You've got your mouthpiece, your cover. Basically, it sits on your vest, easy to reach. You need to pull it, just pull the cover, pull the mouthpiece, one hand draw on the bottle. Okay? The bottle itself, if you notice, has a dial pin that's standard on all the heats bottles. You got your refill adapter there and your regulator release, which is on top. Mouthpiece, and this is a 1.7 bottle. It's a little fat and squatty, but it's 1.7. The way this system works, it's very simple. It's always charged. All you do is pull it out of the pouch, put it in your mouth, breathe, and exit the aircraft. Heats three. Now, the C bottle, a little different. The C bottle is more of a hands-free egress device. This would basically sit in the pouch of your aircraft, or the pouch in your vest, slides in. The hose would stow away into the vest and it basically ride on your body about like that. In case of an emergency, your hands stay free because all you're gonna do now is grab the regulator and put it in your mouth. Very small regulator. This is what they call a 20 inch hose. Now, if you've got the C bottle on your vest, if you notice, 20 inches is plenty long enough to put in your mouth. Even if you're a larger person and wearing it a little lower, you still have room to get the regulator into your mouth. Some people do want 27 inch hose. 27 inch hose is for people that are more or less wearing it down on their legs. And you go ahead and have 27 inches to reach your mouth. If you notice, this won't reach, but it's close. So, average use is right here. Now the C bottle also has a dial to indicate the fill up your accessory point to refill the bottle. And this bottle right here is 2.0, but if you notice, it's a little thinner than the heats. Here's your two bottle thicknesses. So you notice the heat is a little thicker, but it's shorter. Okay, made by Aqualung. This is the Coast Guard version. It does have a dial area that you can keep open if you want. If you know you're gonna be off for a bit, you can turn it down and shut it off. When you get in the aircraft, you do want it open, okay? Because you want to be able to just go, go to immediate release to your mouth. It comes in black. Um, just like a tank, you do have to get it hydrostatic checked. Uh, occasionally. Uh, fail safe. One drawback, if you're traveling a lot, the airlines will not let you carry this on board filled. So you will have to empty it and get it refilled at your location. Uh, if you're working in the Gulf, uh, they should have it. They should have the accessories to fill it up with. Now, any scuba company can refill this for you. Now, on the C model, you will need to have your own adapter because it doesn't work on the, on the uh, heads. It's only for the C. Manufacturers, they all want their own little thing. So get an adapter with it, carry it with you. So when you go to your location, you go to the scuba shop. And as long as you got your adapter, they can refill this bottle. This holds 3,000 PSI of air, and this should give you plenty enough time to get out of the aircraft and swim to the surface. Uh, save your life. All right, any questions, just give us a call at Helicopter Helmet, and we will discuss both versions with you. Thank you. Thank you.